Welcome to the Petisco video tutorial on troubleshooting techniques. This tutorial supports our Sage 50 practice sets written for students studying computerized accounting systems. Our online virtual tutor sets include automatic grading, ongoing feedback, and algorithmic values to ensure each student has a unique practice set. Just like this free video tutorial, we also offer some practice sets for free. For more information, more videos like this, and detailed instructions on using Sage 50, visit our Learning Centre at pedisco.com forward slash Sage 50. In this tutorial, you will learn about different error correction techniques, finding a transaction in Sage 50, and editing an incorrect transaction in Sage 50. You will find these skills useful if you make errors when recording transactions in Sage 50 and need to fix them. Let's begin with the first of these, different error correction techniques. Sage 50 provides two ways to edit a transaction. The first is to record a reversing transaction and the second is to modify the original transaction. We will consider both of these in turn and start with the first approach, reversing a transaction. Meet Chris. Chris has a transaction. But there is a problem. It's the wrong transaction. To reverse this transaction, Chris must construct a transaction that is the exact opposite. These two transactions work together to exactly cancel each other out. This leaves the situation clear to bring in the correct transaction. Notice when reversing a transaction and entering the correct transaction, there are actually three components. The original transaction, an exactly opposite transaction that cancels it out, and the final correct transaction. All three components will forever exist in the accounts. Now that we've covered the first approach, let's look at the second approach, modifying the original transaction. Here is Chris and the wrong transaction again. This time, Chris is going to make changes directly to this wrong transaction in order to correct it. Once the changes are made, the transaction is now correct. Notice, when modifying the original transaction, there is only ever one component being the single transaction itself. That one transaction changes its character during the editing process. So, which approach to correcting errors should be used? Well, it really depends on the importance of keeping audit trails to your organisation. If you are completing the Pedisco practice set, we will adopt the second and easier approach, which is modifying a transaction directly. Now, how might the ability to find and edit transactions be useful in practice? Let's consider the Pedisco Sage 50 practice set. In the example before you, the student completing this practice set has learned that they have incorrectly recorded a credit sale transaction on March 15. Instead of entering Armstrong Landscaping, they have entered the customer from the previous transaction, Hendon Park Apartments. The first step in correcting this error is to find it. Let's learn how to find a transaction in Sage 50. The problem we are trying to find relates to a sales invoice. Sage 50 provides two ways to find a sale transaction. This can be found using the Find Transactions window or one of the Sage 50 lists. If you want to conduct a comprehensive search, you should use the Find Transactions window. To access this window, go to the Edit menu and select Find Transactions, or just press F3 or Control F. Please remember that our current goal is to learn how to find transactions in Sage 50. As an alternate approach to the Find Transactions window, we can use Sage 50 lists. This is the approach that we will now illustrate for the rest of this video. To see the lists available, from the menu bar, select Lists and choose the one that is best for you. In this example, I'm going to select Customers and Sales, then Customers to open the Customer List window. Here, we can view the details of all customers and their outstanding balance. The credit sale transaction that we want to find involves a customer called Henton Park Apartments and was recorded on March 15. To search for this customer, type Henton in the search for field. The search box is not case sensitive, so you can put a lower case H if you want to. Now, 
Select Customer Name from the drop-down box next to it. Then click Search or press Enter. Notice the table now only shows information about Henton. To find all sales invoices relating to that customer, click View Sales Invoices. To view the sales invoice in question, double-click the invoice line that relates to March 15 or highlight it and press Open. So we have successfully found the incorrect invoice in Sage 50. Now that we've covered finding transactions in Sage 50, let's learn how to edit the incorrect transaction that we have located. The first question to ask is, does the transaction have a partner or other transactions applied to it? If the answer is no, we can change the transaction details and record the changes by pressing save. If there are associated transactions, you can only change the fields that are permitted by Sage 50. Let's open the March 15 invoice. Notice this invoice has no payment applied to it, so changing the customer ID field is a straightforward process. Select Armstrong in the customer ID field. Notice the customer name and bill to address are changed automatically. Press save to record the changes. Next, what if the March 15 invoice has a payment applied to it? In this case, you may have to perform additional steps to modify this invoice. To learn more about those steps, go to our Learning Centre. Here, you can find detailed instructions on how to change the customer ID of a fully paid invoice. So that's a quick overview of the editing a transaction process. We have now come to the end of our tutorial on troubleshooting techniques. You will find that we have covered different error correction techniques, finding a transaction in Sage 50, and editing an incorrect transaction in Sage 50. Now it's up to you. If you are doing the Sage 50 Electronics Practice Set, good luck with your assignment.